Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Over the Potato. This is Horsham. It's a uh, it's a little known it's a little known suburb of uh, of Shifnal, I guess. Shifnal is just over there in the distance, and then we've got Gravesend all the way uh, all the way in the distance, further, further, further in the distance. Actually, in the distance, far away. Anyway, uh, this is Transport Fever Two. I'm Over the Potato. I've already said that, but it doesn't particularly matter. Sure, let's just jump into it. Uh, right, so, we're looking at Horsham for one specific reason. And the specific reason is that, I mean, things are just diabolically bad. Diabolically bad, there's no other way of putting it. Uh, Horsham is overcrowding. Uh, there is a gargantuan number of people waiting for the North Shifnal Express. And also for the uh, the Warwick Branch route as well, which, um, which we built, you know, a couple of episodes ago now. But holy cow, there's a lot of people in Warwick as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, and also in Yarmouth, so, uh, okay, that, that needs to be rectified almost immediately. Um, what, what train have we got over here? We got, oh, yeah, we got a, a pretty, a pretty old, a pretty old beat up, beat up thing. 53 years old, lifetime reached, well, I think, maybe, this would be a good opportunity to, uh, to replace this train. In fact, let me, let me try and replace both of the trains on this route, even though this one is a little bit newer, I think. That's 10 years old. Yeah, what's the capacity? Capacity of 95. Uh, let me go in and edit these, and edit these trains. Let me at least see if we've got something, something else. Uh, do we have any, like, multiple electric units? We do, in fact, have the Shinkansen, which I did say... I wanted to replace everything with. What is the length of this thing? Do we do we have a little length? It's pretty it's pretty long. Um It's pretty it's pretty long. So that takes me from Oh in fact, I guess we can just get rid of this train for now. It's 204 meters long. I mean, that's longer than my standard 160 160 meter stations, which is a little bit of a bummer. We've also got the Mirage, which I feel might actually be slightly better for this route. Commuter traffic in Switzerland. I mean, how long's how long's a Mirage? That's 75 meters long. I mean, what if I was to get two Mirages together? That would take it up to a capacity of 115, which is good. Top speed slightly higher, and the total cost, truthfully, is not that. Is not that far off. I actually feel like the Mirage for this line would be pretty much spot on. That is going to cost me 37 million, but that's okay. Let's let's go with that. Let's do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double the number of trains. Now nah, maybe not double. Double's a bit too much. But we'll we'll get an extra train on this line for sure. So that should theoretically mean we're now able to carry just a heck of a lot more. A heck of a lot more passengers on the North Shifnal Express, which is what I'm really, really, really bothered about. Uh, and on the Warwick Branch route, I do indeed believe, yeah, I think we're using, I see that 52 capacity, I think we are using the Zephyr. Yeah, we are indeed using the Zephyr, there we go. Uh, we're using the Zephyr, I think I'm kind of happy using the Zephyr, I like the Zephyr a lot. What I'm not super happy about is the fact that we've got a ridiculously large number of people waiting. So let's double the number of trains on this route. We'll get a bunch more Zephyrs. Zephyrs are just so darn cheap. And for what they offer, it's pretty perfect. I guess it's kind of trying to hit that balance between... You know, you want to hit a balance where you're trying to get up to... I mean, almost the max speed that you possibly can get up to uh, in the train. But you also want to make sure that you've got adequate capacity. Uh, yes, we're waiting for the Zephyr to get out there. Uh, you may be able to see, by the way, since this game is so advanced, everything is uh, starting to slow down a little bit, especially now that we're putting it into to three times speed. Hold up, are you able to... you able to work? Yet? Yeah. You're heading for Horsham, aren't you? Ah. You're waiting for this train to get in. Cool. Also, the East Chiffnall Express, which I should have said at the at the get-go, we're going to be working on the East Chiffnall Express today, and we're going to be uh, be improving it tremendously, I do indeed hope. That is the Meddler with Wesham route, basically, and that's what we're going to try and improve. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of having these um, these sort of back-to-back back -to -back, back -back engines. They're pretty darn cool. Right, the reason that I'm just letting it run in three times speed is that I want to make sure that we try and clear up the, the Warwick branch a little bit. Because that's still a little bit of a problem. 
Also, I'm not entirely sure how okay I am with all of the traffic just running into Shifnal. Because the trains that we're taking to Shifnal are not fully loaded. Look at that. We got a 65 out of 114 there. The vast majority of passengers actually want to go up to Stamford. So I'm not entirely convinced that we're not just wasting capacity and wasting time just going into Shifnal. Yeah, there's the East Shifnal Express over there. I mean, what we could indeed do... How many people do we have waiting for the North Shifnal Express over here? Yeah, I think what we do, what we straight up do, is we're going to allow the East Shifnal Express to continue to Shifnal. But the North Shifnal Express route, let's actually manage this line and just ditch Shifnal from it. Horsham also will be able to ditch from there as well. And... You can do that. Yeah, that's totally fine. Could not connect all the stations. Horsham to Stamford. Why is this a bit of a problem? We start at Horsham. Do I not have adequate crossover here? I think we do have adequate crossover here, don't we? As far as I'm aware, we do. Platform 1. I don't think we've got adequate crossover here. I can't, I can't actually see. Oh, we don't actually have any crossover on... On this track. Right, well, let's do... Let's do this right over here. Again, I don't want crossover. Or I want crossover as minimally as possible. Okay, you know what? This line is just, is just turning into a disaster. Let's redo the entirety of the North Shifnal Express. Line contains too few stations. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, video game. Right, and then over to here. Why do you not want to do that? You don't you don't like that at all. You do not like that at all, video game. Right, but that seems to be fine. Apart from the fact that there is no way that you're gonna have a little crossover point here. So why do you not want to go along? this line. I mean, it was being used quite happily by this other train, as signified over here. Okay, and then Stamford on the way back. And then Stamford will force it to use platform one. And, uh, whoops, wrong way around. One. And then two. That's brilliant. So it's literally the connection between Horsham and Stamford that is the problem. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out why the heck it is a problem? Is it a problem because I perhaps have put in signals over here? There we go. It is indeed. It was a signaling problem. I hate when signaling problems happen. But you know what? Signaling problems are entirely man-made. They are entirely created by humans. Uh, train 53. There's no electricity where you are. I mean... I think the greater concern is that you're not going in the right direction in order to be on the the Shifnal Express. So we'll turn you right around and then we'll just send you back to where you came from. Uh, this train as well, you might have a little bit of an issue getting to where you need to go. Actually, you're coming back up to Horsham. That's totally fine. Okay, good. So now what we've done is we've effectively cut down tremendously the amount of uh, the amount of services that are running to Shifnal. So all of the services are going to be with the East Shifnal Express. I don't really think that this train particularly needs to be upgraded. However, I will actually just straight up do that. Now seems like a pretty good time since we're doing it anyway. And we'll just go with this sort of three-part... Uh, this, this, this doubled three-part unit. So I guess it's like a six-part unit or whatever. Autosave, as ever, coming in at the most opportune times. The most opportune times ever. And also taking a significant period of time, but that's okay. Right, we're still 190 million up, which is really, really nice. Cool. So, the East Shifnal Express, which is right over here, should be doing what it's going to do. Okay, great. Now, whilst I remember, I must, as a priority, have a little look at the Cross Map Express. The Cross Map Express is, of course... One of the most successful routes that we have, uh, bar none, it has got a ridiculous number of passengers uh, and a ridiculous number of trains. Look at that. Capacity-wise, we are at uh, we're at 400 and something. That, I mean, that's just ludicrous. That's absolutely ludicrous. 
Right, so where are... The Cross Map Express is offloading onto this platform, which I must say is absolutely brilliant because... As I've previously highlighted, the Shinkansen train, which is what I would look to replace all of these trains with, is super, super long. I mean, what was it? It was, I don't know, what, 220 meters long or 206 meters long or whatever. So that's definitely something that we're going to have to improve. How long is this station? I think this station is... Oh, I don't even, I don't even know. However, it looks like it can be extended by another, I guess, two blocks. It needs to be two blocks longer in order to accommodate a, a Shinkansen train properly. So that one in Hemsworth, that station in Hemsworth shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, Cotsgrave, we don't... Uh, we do go to Cotsgrave, actually. Yeah, what are the chances of me being able to upgrade the Cotsgrave station to being a little bit longer? I mean, not ideal. I mean, look, let's not... Let's not faff around with this too much. What I'm going to do is I'm just actually going to... As a first port of call, I'm going to introduce a brand new... A brand new train to this service. I mean, can I buy... Can I buy it over there? Where did I buy... Where did I buy the, the thingies last time? The trains last time? The Zephyrs last time? That's the term that I'm looking for. Zephyrs. I bought them over here. Right. Let's buy a... What the heck are you doing in here? How old are you? Okay. Condition is very bad. You're getting sold? How much am I going to get for you? About half a mil. That's fine. Right. Let's buy a Shinkansen. Uh, 204 meters long. 47 million. I mean, but, I mean, this is cool. 160 capacity. So, I mean, it is a pretty darn large investment, but it's also hopefully going to replace basically three trains on this line. Right. Let's let you go past... 600,000 each and every month to run this flipping train. Are you able to emerge yet? This is a really, really busy line. Like, I cannot overstate how busy this line actually is. And for good, you know, for good reason. Like, it is a... It is a busy line. It is a busy line because... Because it's busy. Mm, you're waiting over there. I don't like that, actually. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can change this around a smidge. Got to put in one way, one way. Perfect. And then... I don't want to I don't want to mess around with that changeover bit. Right, but that should at least allow you to go. Brilliant. So we'll let that Zephyr through there. And that should theoretically let the bullet train out. He says confidently. Very confidently, in fact. That'll definitely allow the train out. He says, again, overconfidently, perhaps. But there it is. Oh, my goodness. And isn't that an absolute beauty? Holy cow. Uh, something that I do need... Oh, it beeped at me. Oh, you, you dream of a train. Uh, something that I do need to bear in mind. I don't know if the entirety of the Cross Map Express is electrified. And I didn't exactly realized that this was an electric train. However, um, I'm not going to let that deter me. I'm still very, very confident that this is going to be a fantastic decision. I mean, it's very, very long. Long beyond the point of, uh, of station length. However, I must say, I do indeed believe it's technically possible to load up, uh, to load up trains that are longer than the station. So, I guess we'll just wait and see. Right. Why are you waiting? Oh, I see. Right. What I need to do is I need to make sure that there is a signal in place here. Doesn't need to be one way. Doesn't need to be one way. But we just need to make sure that that's in place there. So that we can always accommodate... So we can always accommodate trains. However... However they're coming. Oops, that should have been one way. And that will be one way brilliant. Tell you what, look at all of this traffic. You know what I was saying earlier about the the sort of map was slowing down, the game was slowing down? I think most of the reason that the game is slowing down is because it needs to simulate all of this private traffic. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, there's a lot of it. I mean, we're in 1965, for goodness sake. 
and uh, and there's a heck of a lot of traffic. So so there we go. Anyway, um, the bullet train is almost ready. I mean, it looks it's waiting for a free path. I mean, why are you waiting for a free path? You're waiting for this train to emerge back along this way. I mean, that's fine. That's totally fine. And you're now looking to try and get into this station here, aren't you? Via Cotsgrave, via Schiffnell. Yeah, unfortunately, we just picked up a a full load. How fast does this thing accelerate? I'm kind of hoping that it does accelerate ridiculously fast. Yeah, well, that's kind of the dream. It's got 25 passengers. Okay, and you've got... You got 52. Okay, so let's have a little look. Let's see, have a little look. See if this is going to work. I can already tell you that this is absolutely not going to work. As you can see, the backside is sticking out of the station a little bit, which is a real problem. Right. Let's go in and let's get this edited. I'm going to have to delete a bit of track. I know it's going to cause a problem for, uh, for our, I mean, our pride and joy. The Shinkansen bullet train. But that's okay. Let's extend... Let's not extend the station with a bit of standard track. Let's extend it with high-speed electric uh, because that's what we need to do. There we go. Yes, you're still not completely up to speed with when I press this button video game, but that's okay. You know, we're all slow. We all get older. I, I appreciate that. But, I mean, I was kind of hoping to have this station built before, uh, before Christmas arrived. Christmas 2021, that is. Right. There we go. There, oh, come on. There we go. There we go. And... There we go. Flippin' heck. Alright. I don't think we need any other buildings. We don't need anything else. That's all been built. Brilliant. I mean, I, I was never really a huge fan of this monstrosity of a connection. However, I guess we just keep it. I guess we just keep it. There we go. We'll get that hooked up. That should indeed work. Uh, did we have a little bit of crossover? We did indeed have a little bit of crossover. I think I can just do the crossover relatively simply, to be honest. There we go. So that should indeed... That it should indeed work. So if we let the if we let the bullet train just collect a couple of passengers, and then we'll head off. So as I say, I think it is technically possible for the train to uh, to load on platforms that are not long enough. However, I think there's a little bit of a, a loading penalty speed bonus, so we don't really want to do that. Also, yes, we're gonna take this thing for a for a spin. We're gonna take it for a test drive. We're going to see how fast it accelerates. There we go. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What a wonderful, what a wonderful feeling. This isn't three times speed. Uh, and we are going 112 kilometers an hour. I mean, we're not quite past the speed that the Zephyr can manage yet. Hold up. Let me, uh, let me stick it in one time speed so we can get a, a true appreciation. So the speed that the the top speed of the Zephyr, I believe, is about 177 kilometers an hour. So if we're able to, you know, cruise past 177, then I will be, I will be happy. But until that point, you know, there's still there's still a little bit of buyer's remorse, I guess, sort of just floating around. That uh, why buy, why buy a, a, a bullet train, a Shinkansen bullet train, if uh, if I don't need to. But I tell you what, we're about to we're about to cruise past 100. And, 170 kilometers an hour as soon as this flipping autosave look at it look at this look at this as soon as this flipping autosave finishes up 14 passengers this is the inaugural run of the of the bullet train and uh and we only have 14 passengers on board yeah look at that diesel diesel spewing at the top of that thing there ain't no emissions with this uh with this beast We've cruised past 170. We need to slow down now in order to... In order to make way for another train. That's the problem, you see. We want to try and remove as many of the trains as we can from the network. Because 
the beauty of this route is that it is basically unhindered straight track. Like, it is straight from just one side of the map to the other side of the map. And that allows tremendous speed. Uh, and we need to, you know, we need to recognize that this, that this train is going to thrive in such circumstances. So, uh, let me exit out of there. Oh, two new vehicles are available. Uh, they don't look exciting, even slightly. Okay, but still you're flying along at 164. That's pretty darn good. Uh, however, I must say... Yeah, you're slowing down. You're slowing down in order to accommodate this train that is that is in front of you. Right, well, I mean, that's not great. Can I, can I have a little look at the trains that are on this network and perhaps see if we can, you know, just get rid of some of the ones that are just a little bit... A little bit empty. How many people have we got going to Cotsgrave? 70 people going to Cotsgrave. I never really want to... Never really want to remove any of the trains from this network because... They all seem so full. They all seem so full. i tell you what I will do. I'm gonna go manage vehicle. And, uh... We're gonna go... Edit. We're gonna edit... Two of these. And we will... Or should I say replace... Replace with a Shinkansen. It's going to cost me 85 million. And then I think the rest, I kind of just need to bite the bullet and just... <laughs> I kind of just need to bite the bullet and just get rid of them. The thing that I want to see is how is... How is this station going to gonna cope with a bullet train? That's what I really want to see. I think the answer to that is probably not well. However, I think that there is actually latitude for us to make a proper change here. So, let's watch this thing come in. What's the capacity? 196 people waiting to go on the next leg of the journey. Right. I tell you what we could do. I tell you what we could do, and this is a... You know, this is a bold endeavor, if ever I've seen one before. What I think we're going to do is we're going to start demolishing some streets around these, uh, around these parts. Does Cotsgrave... Cotsgrave's got a... Got a tram network. Yeah, so that's totally fine. So what we need to do... Is we're gonna remove... In fact, we don't even need to remove this street. We just remove this street. We remove that bit of street. Yeah, we remove this. Remove this. Remove this. And we remove... All of this other infrastructure. There we go. We take it right the way back. And then... We look to see if we can make an edit to this track. Mm, not looking that way. What if I was to do... No, okay. I think we're going to have to ditch this as well. My bad. I'm probably going to rebuild that road there, but that's that's totally fine. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll worry about that in a second. Right. Give me some track here. Are you going to allow me to demolish this house? Okay, one, one house needs to be demolished. There can be a smaller house built in this location, so that's fine. And then let's get some passenger platforms. Right, gonna need to de definitely demolish another house, but I mean, look, that's a price worth paying as far as I'm concerned. And... Do I need to do anything else? Not really. Not really at all. I think I just need to exit out of here and just get, uh... Get this built. I mean, I'm not super happy with the fact that we're going to be traveling at 45 kilometers an hour or whatever. I kind of feel like maybe we just... Maybe we just lean into it and get this... And get this all cleaned up. However, in saying that, we're not going to be traveling very fast as it is anyway. So, let's do that. Let's do... This. Brilliant. And then let's have a little bit of crossover track... Over here, if we can manage. He says very confidently, thinking that he's going to be able to manage. He's not able to manage. He's not able to pull it off. He's not able to pull it off. That's, I mean, probably one of the biggest disappointments of twenty, of 2020 so far. I, I have a funny feeling, though. There is a way to make this happen. Oh... You were so close. You were so close, video game. You were so close to greatness there. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to happen there. What about over here? And that will work. Then this should work too, right? Oh, brilliant. 
Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so the crossover is right there. Let's get that in there, that in there. I'm not super worried about the speed. And that will just allow every single, every single person to be able to board the train in, uh, in good time. Because the loading speed of this is what? Loading speed is eight times. So it already loads pretty fast. So we would see a penalty if indeed we didn't have, uh, we didn't have the long stations. So yeah, I think that this, I think that this will, I think this will allow the stations to be, if not the entire length, I mean, still, it looks like we need another slot, look, like another platform slot. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to worry about that at all. That's, that's just fine. We're just going to, we're just going to deal with that. Right, you got 52 out of 52 passengers. You got 52 out of 60 because you were just upgraded. You've got that many. You've got 32. How many people are going to Cotsgrave? Oh, right. You go to the depot. And get sold. Yeah. And you go to the depot and get sold as well. I just, look, I'm just postponing biting the bullet. I know that I've said that as a pun already, but I mean, look, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to absolutely do it. Manage vehicles. Right. Let's get all of these sold. Yep, just get them sold. Recoup a little bit of our, a little bit of our money. Uh, three bullet trains. I mean, that seems, that seems like a ridiculously small number of trains, given what it was. However, you got to bear in mind these things travel way faster with fewer trains on the track than it's going to allow it's going to allow these things to go monstrously fast. So my my rationale is, you know, let's freaking do it. Let's freaking give it a shot. Let's absolutely give it a shot. Okay. Battle Doof to Gravesend. This is irritating me how much bread there is waiting to go here. Originally I thought, hey, Having two trains on this line, not great. But as it turns out, maybe we need a second train on the line. We'll deal with that later. How's the bullet train doing over here? Ah, it's actually just coming into the station. Well, it's a good thing. Good thing that I'm just over here to uh, to sort that out. Let's get the appropriate high speed, high speedified modifications. Yes, the train will end up getting a little bit confused, unfortunately, because of the timing. It turns out that if a train is already in a station, then it is liable to get uh, to get confused when it comes into the station. Anyway, that modification should uh, should allow should allow the train to unload at a proper rate. How many people have we got waiting for the cross map express? Only 32. To be honest, I probably sold a couple of the trains that were actually taking people. Uh, that we're actually already in the process of transporting people, but look, that'll be that'll be rectified in a little bit. Uh, the East Chiffnall Express has suddenly seen a huge spike in passengers wanting to go to Horsham. I mean, that's kind of the way that we planned it out. And you've got 33 passengers, right? You are gonna make you're gonna make me like negative money for a long time to come. But I guess that's just I guess that's just the reality of running super super expensive high speed trains. Right, and you're now going to get up to speed as well. Brilliant, you're coming into here. 160 passengers, holy cow. 87 going to Schiffnall, so, I mean, big numbers, big numbers. I like this, I like this a lot. Cross map supply one. Let me see if we can try and get a couple more vehicles. I'll get three more in this route. Do I have any chance to upgrade the buses? Uh, we're using twin coaches here. However, and they cost 200 and... Ah, sure. Just give me the... Just give me the max. Give me the... Mercedes-Benz or the... Or the... GM Fishbowl. Let's go for the... More expensive vehicle. Sure. Of course, I happen to do that at the exact same time that the autosave decides to start kicking off. Anyway, uh, the whole point of doing this is that we should just be able to t take a few more people. Yeah, we should be able to take a few more people, and uh, and it should just work a little bit better because we're going to be able to travel a little bit faster. Yeah, brilliant. Cool. I don't know what the... Yeah, the capacity of these buses is 14 anyway, so we're not actually upgrading the capacity. We're just upgrading the speed. Right, brilliant. Okay, I'm super happy with that. 134 people. 
we're transporting way more people, and I'm very, very, very happy with that. Uh, right, let's go and rectify the East Shiftnel Express, and then let's actually make progress on the building of the uh, of the Shiftnel Express. Right, let's get Shiftney is surprisingly... This route is actually losing me money. This is a 90-year-old train. Let's sell this train. I don't think we quite need the capacity that uh, that I've allotted to it, but that's completely fine. The East Shiftnel Express... I already upgraded that train, didn't I? I totally did. East Shiftnel Express is looking pretty good. Yeah, wowzers. Okay, there is a lot of people that are looking to go to... That are looking to go via ship... Uh, they are, that are looking to go via Shiftnel. That's fine. Because we can take 114 in this thing right now. In this train right now. Warwick Branch. I, I just doubled the number of trains that I have on this route. And we still haven't managed to to deal with the number of people that are traveling? What the heck? Two, three. Wow. Okay, I mean, I am very, very surprised at that. Very, very surprised at that, in fact. I mean, what if we just, what if we just replace all of these trains with the the extra mirages. I think maybe that's not a bad idea. You know, increase the capacity a little bit. Let's not do that quite yet. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to spend all my money. But uh, oh, you're waiting for a free path. Where are you going? Have I perhaps got a few too signals on this line? A few too signals. A few too many signals. I think is probably the the correct way of putting that. Yeah. And it is, I mean, it is a fairly long, it is a fairly long line. So maybe I'd be okay. Maybe I'd be okay with upgrading two of the trains. Yeah, let's do that. Let's upgrade two of the trains. Two of these guys. Let's get these guys replaced with double, double mirages. Kind of like we've got on the East Chiffnel Express. Again, the speed difference is, I guess it's negligible, right? The top speed of this guy is, yeah, 125 as opposed to the 177 over here. But, I mean, I don't really think that we're ever going to see max speed on any of these stretches of track. Uh, maybe the Finchley to, to Wigan bit, but it doesn't particularly matter. Anyway, that's the that's the, the vast majority of bits and bobs sorted, I think. The East Chiffnel Express. You're not the East Chiffnel Express. You're the North Chiffnel Express. And that's actually... That's actually fixed us up for the most part. I think we should manage to, you know, keep a hold or, or handle on passenger numbers there. It's just the Warwick branch bit, which is a bit long. Okay, cool. That's that sorted. Let's do what I really wanted to do in this episode. Right, and that is building a Medlar with Wesham extension. Right, I high-speedified all of this track, and that's completely fine. However, now I think is the time to properly, to properly think about our expansion. I'd like to go to Chagford, Femdown, Skelmersdale, and then Stockport can be catered for via Kingston upon Beach. I don't really think we want to go to Sutton Coldfield. Uh, Sutton Coldfield already has uh, a, a connection, at least. So technically, if you wanted to get to Meddler with Wesham, you could from Sutton Coldfield. It just means you'd need to go into Burnley. Then you'd need to take the Burnley Express over to over to Cleobury Mortimer, right? And then... In fact, is it even possible? I don't even think that Cleobury Mortimer and Cotsgrave are connected. That's a little bit of an oversight. Well, we'll rectify that later. Let me focus Let me focus on getting this meddler with Wesham bit done. Right, so first thing that we need to do. Let's go in here. Let's configure this, configure this station. So we'll basically make it not a terminal station anymore. And, to be honest, the length of the station is already completely adequate. I'll, I'll take that at the moment. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is I'd like to build a passenger building. Large side building. We'll build it. We'll build it over here. With streetcar access. Yeah, put it in there. Three buildings will be removed. Two buildings will be removed. Stick it in there. Brilliant. Right. 
And then... And then... Oh, no. Have I... Have I completely doofed this up? There's just no... There's just no way that that's going to connect, is there? Is there? Sure. You know what? I'll get rid of another building. Just to... Just to really mess things up further. Fine. Fine. Meddler with Wesham. It's not a great... Not a great passenger hub at the moment anyway, so... Whatever. Right. Let's see what we can do. Now, obviously, we want to try and high speedify things as much as we possibly can. But about 160. 160 miles an hour it seems very, very reasonable for what we currently need. We obviously cannot go into the water. It's going to be a little bit of a tunnel here. I'm okay with a little bit of tunneling. I'm okay with a little bit of non-tunneling, to be honest, as well. So, yeah, sure, let's just do that. And then, again, I think we should just aim for, like... We should aim for as high as we can, but let's not... Let's not worry. As long as it's above about 160, we can run the uh, the Zephyrs along the route. And I'm going to double it from the very start here to make sure that it's all completely fine. Because, as I say, we're adding a bunch of extra stations on, so... It's pretty important for us. Pretty important connection that, that we're uh, that we're going to be making here. Right, where are we going to want to stick the station in Chagford? I have genuinely got no idea. I mean, maybe in the center of town somewhere. It's, I'm always a little bit apprehensive about building in the center of town. Let's build a 240 meter station. Yeah, sure, build a 240 meter station. Always a little bit apprehensive about building in the center of town because that means stuff needs to be removed. Let's build a 160 meter station. That's right. I'm not that bothered about the speed. Uh, not that bothered about the uh, about the length. I would. Th I was thinking. You know what? Maybe the the Shinkansen can eventually like run along this route. But that's not really my primary concern right now. Right. Five buildings will be removed. It'll cost me a fair bit of money. Let's do it. Let's get it loaded in. Let's get it locked in, loaded in, and then let's see where we can run the track. I mean, this is always gonna, this is always gonna be a little bit of a messy route, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll cross over. Yeah, we'll cross over right about here. Um, okay, alright, turns out we will not cross over right about there, because that is a bit of a problem. Cross over right about there. Cross over right about there. Sure, we are kind of destroying half of the town. But that's okay. Let's just build out there to make sure that it works. Brilliant. And then let's see where we can go. Right. I mean, immediately, straight off the bat, I don't love that. I don't love that at all. The fact that there are bridges there, not okay with. I mean, it doesn't say that there's any speed loss from those... Br uh, that, okay, there we go. It does say that there's speed loss from those bridges. Um, I kind of feel like maybe straight up just terraforming this little bit of land would make... I mean, it would make perfect sense, really, wouldn't it? Breast size, strength. Uh, why are you not... I want to raise this up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it'll cost a little bit of money. But on the whole, I just, I really don't like using bridges, especially on high-speed lines. I'm just much more comfortable, you know, just, just terraforming the land a little bit. Sure, you know, pay a little bit more of an expensive price. But I get to use the terraforming tool, and that's not something that I get to use all that often. Right. Let's give that a shot. All right, we'll just bring it straight across here. No, 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 no. We're not using any of that nonsense. Actually, just dig it out, to be honest. Dig it out. All right, 300 meters per second is a very fast speed, and we're going 300 kilometers per hour, not 300 meters per second. All right, and then let's see how this curves around. All right, we are going to take a fairly substantial speed hit there, but as long as I fill in the land over here, then that's fine. Right, brilliant. All right, that's actually looking the business. 
that is looking very, very fine indeed. And so all that I need to do is make sure that it links up. It does link up. However, there is a slight bit of water, which has escaped my attention over there. There we go. Let's make sure that we just clean it all up. And now we should have absolutely no difficulties at all. 158 to about 135. Okay, you know what? Honestly, that is... That is passable. That is a passably high speed, especially coming into the station. I mean, the speed will be decreasing anyway, so I mean, I don't need to worry about uh, I don't need to worry about things too too much. And just like that, we have connected up Chagford. Brilliant. Okay, uh, Ferndown is next. Ferndown is next, and already I see an opportunity to to bulldoze half the town and maybe stick in place a wonderful passenger station. Uh, my immediate thought is, well, hold up, let's use the proper, proper tool. My immediate thought is, if we bulldoze these two roads, we can just stick in a passenger station right there, and we'll pretty much, we'll pretty much be able to collect all of the passenger traffic. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to be able to collect all of the passenger traffic. Can I rotate it a little bit? Uh, yeah, we'll do that, sure. It will involve a little bit of demolition, but, I mean, demolition is, is one of the best bits of this job. That's right, I said it. No shame. No shame whatsoever. Right. Let's bring you down here. In fact, we might even just be able to connect you straight up. Yeah, what's the quote for that? $500,000? I mean, that's, that's a pretty darn good speed. And a pretty darn good price. Sign me up. I'm interested. I'll take the deal. Deal or no deal? Give me a deal. I'll take a deal any day of the week. You know what they say, a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. And ain't that just the truth? Ain't that the truth? Whoever came up with that, uh, with that turn of phrase, well, they weren't lying. They were, they were truth in hardcore. Right, 86 kilometers an hour. I kind of want to aggressively turn here. I don't really want to go through this farm. However, maybe that's the best, the best case scenario. Nah, you know what, you know, look, I'm going to try and thread the needle. I'm going to try and thread the needle right between the two farms. And also, I mean, this is a pretty, a pretty minimal house destruction approach. So there we go. We'll come as close to the, to the fields as we can without destroying them. I think the fields do indeed rebuild, but it doesn't particularly matter. Right, this will be a main connection, so let's not mess with that. We can we can always cross one road, it's just difficult to cross a junction. There we go, that's pretty much what I'm after. Construction's not possible there. Right, as it turned out, I don't even know why I hesitated. Just delete all of this, and uh, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll supply a We'll supply another main connection in time. Don't worry, video game. In fact, I'll actually build a main connection that is better than what you had. There we go. Brilliant. And then we just need to find a station in Skelmersdale. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I think I've got a, a fine location. In fact, I'm so confident that I'm just going to aggressively demolish... A road to uh, to show who owns the town of Skelmersdale. That's right, it's me. Right, look at that. That's two houses. We get away with just one house being demolished? No. Two houses. Two houses. We get the entirety of Skelmersdale. And we are going to be bringing a whole bunch of economic growth to the region. And to the town. So that's really exciting. 209 meters... An hour? No. Meters per second? No. Kilometers per hour. That's the value that I was looking for. So let's get that in place. Get that in place. Brilliant. Okay, and we only really need crossover at the very end up here. Let's get that in place. Get that in place. Brilliant. I don't know what the sort of demand is going to be from this Meddler with Wesham route. I think it'll be, I mean, substantial enough. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near the Warwick branch sort of levels of, um, of substance. Substance? Substance? 
substantial, substantialness. It's not going to be like the Warwick branch, is what I'm really trying to say. I'm sure that was made abundantly clear to you by the, you know, various attempts that I made to say fairly basic English phrases. But, you know, I tell you what, we've ended up with not a, you know, super horrific natural, uh, natural little, little, little feature there. Kind of nice. Right. I'm just, you know, preemptively placing a bunch of signals because I just, you know, I've got a feeling. Got a feeling. And let's also place another signal over there, signal over there. Brilliant. And a final signal there, and a final signal there. Cool. Very, very cool indeed. Right, so I think we're just pretty much ready to amend the route and then open this up to traffic. Yeah. 241 people going to meddler with Wesham. Wowzers. All right, well, that is quite something. Let's go and manage this line. So I'm gonna keep things. I'm gonna keep things relatively similar with this route. I.e., we're gonna keep the East, the East Shifnal Express coming into Shifnal. That might change. I might get a dedicated like Shifnal to Horsham service, but I think for now we'll keep it with the East Shifnal Express. The East Shifnal Express is is fine. Right. What I want to do is I'd like to get rid of that Horsham station right there. Brilliant. And then we will just bring it on up. So I'd like to change over tracks. Change over tracks here. And then we just go about adding on... Adding on stations here. And we want to change over to platform 2. Brilliant. And platform 2 as well. Perfect. And then right over there. Uh, we can keep it platform 1, platform 2, doesn't particularly matter. We'll stop at Ferndown on the way back. Already accommodates for the change of platform. Brilliant. Chagford should accommodate for the change of platform. Fantastic. Uh, Meddler with Wesham accommodates for the change of platform. Brilliant. Horsham, uh, yep. We'll stop at Horsham again. And then we're, uh, we're right back at Shifnal. Okay, so this is far and away the longest route that I think we actually that we actually have. I don't think that's necessarily a problem, but it is kind of cool and worth noting. Right, so East Shifnal Express, manage vehicles. Let's clone this vehicle once. If I can clone it again, which I can, I will do. So let's wait for those let's wait for those trains to be introduced on the line. And then let's see what happens. Presumably it's gonna be from Yeah, from this from this depot, which I'm super uncertain about, but I guess it is what it is. As long as it works, then then I'm totally fine with it. And you know what? It's it's a good time. It's a good time for these trains to be getting onto the line because turns out that we've got a whole bunch of whole bunch of passengers waiting. Right. Let's go three times speed to make sure that all of these trains can operate as they need to. I think that by the way, having two of these electric units together, I think they're electric, are they? Yeah, they are... Nope. Yes, they are. They are in, They are indeed electric. I, I think having two of these electric units together is pretty much just the perfect combo. What is that? 103 passengers? All right. Are we making money on the Cross Map Express yet? No. No, we're still not making money on the Cross Map Express. Okay. Not great. Not great, but we'll be there soon. We don't have any debt, so thank goodness. Uh, it turns out my wittering in the last episode served a purpose, you know, more than just filling air. It, it allowed me to accumulate a substantial amount of money in order for me to, you know, buy a whole bunch of bullet trains. 134 passengers. How many are waiting here? 49. Okay, I mean, that's not good. I think we've actually increased the capacity of the line by about 50 passengers. So maybe at a future point, we can reduce the number of bullet trains that we have. Anyway, uh, the East Shiftnal Express, we still have a couple of passengers waiting for pickup here. So immediately, straight off the bat, we're going to be pretty profitable. Two brand new vehicles, road vehicles, not too bothered about them, but that's fine. Warwick Branch. How is it that the Warwick Branch just isn't making any money? We don't even go to Shiftnal. We don't even go to freaking Shiftnal. I don't get it. I do not get it. Oh, what I will do. There we go. So that should just mean that uh, we'll prioritize traffic to the Warwick branch. I I just don't get I don't get why the Warwick branch is so is so popular. I guess it's just long. I guess it's just long. 
Right, you know what? Let's get these guys... Let's get these guys replaced with double mirages. It is going to cost me 40 million, but I think it's totally worth it if it allows me to just carry way more passengers. Because, I mean, that's what we need, right? I do like how all of the how all of the traffic on the Warwick branch, the North Shiftnal Express, and the East Shiftnal Express all use, like, the same type of train. I think it's very cool, in fact. It's a feature. And you know what? For once, we actually have no overcrowding at the station. Everything seems under control. Very, very good. 114 passengers on the uh, on the on the East Chiffnell Express going into Medler with Wesham. And I would wager that there will be a heck of a lot of passengers waiting around. Certainly a lot of people seem to want to want to go to Medler with Wesham. Not entirely sure why. It's a pretty big town, I guess. No, it's not a pretty big town. Not even a pretty big town at all. Pretty lamely sized town. Yeah. All right, not not sure about that. It is obviously going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of time for the for the amount of uh Oh, look at this. Destinations are shot way up. That's brilliant. Uh yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time for the passengers to materialize, but you know, still that's that's something at least. Right. The other thing that I wanted to identify whilst we're waiting for that to sort of improve was um we need to set up we need to set up a, a we need to set up a train service in my mind anyway, we need to set up like a little regional train service to Cleobury Mortimer from from Cotsgrave. It, it, that's kind of like an unavoidable truth that we just have to do. Yeah, another another thing like this, the Fairford Express, not an express train. I think we need a Cleobury, uh, like a, well, I guess like a Cotsgrave Express. We need a Cotsgrave Express, sure. Let's get a Cotsgrave Express on the go, and if we can do that, then that'd be great. I think I've got an idea on how we approach this. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to link up... Let's keep it electric. So I'm going to link up this. Right? Link up that. Link up that to there. Perfect. Let's get this upgraded to be fully electric. There we go. Wonderful. The reason that I want this to be fully up, uh, upgraded to electric is because I'm about to put down a little bit more track over here, which similarly is going to allow us... Excuse me. There we go. $20,000. $20,000. I don't have... I don't have twenty thousand dollars, really. Man, things have gotten things have gotten bad. I suppose I did just spend forty million on upgrading trains. So yeah, there we go. Anyway, let me pause whilst I actually have ten million in the bank account. So this should theoretically allow me to do a little route to Clearbury Mortimer because this high speed track, or uh, sorry, this regular speed track is still linked in. The Burnley to Clearbury Mortimer Express only uses one of the platforms. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get you to use the other platform in Cleobury Mortimer. There we go. Use the other platform in Cleobury Mortimer. And then that will allow us to create a brand new line. This is going to be the Cotsgrave Express. The Cotsgrave Express. Not an express route. Cots. No. Cots. Yeah, there we go. Not an express. I don't think I put a semicolon at the end there. Right. Does that show up anywhere? The... Alright, well, I guess we'll see. There we go. There we go. Okay, fine. Cotsgrave Express. Not an express route. Okay, it's not an express train. Not express train. Brilliant. Okay, and that's literally just gonna go down to here and that runs again that runs that yeah that runs perfectly that's exactly where we want to see it go uh and it should be as i say fully electrified kind of like greased lightning except it looks more like a train yeah you'll soon get the hang of it you'll soon you'll soon see what i mean uh, i think we can buy a train in this depot over here and we, we i mean what do we use on what do we use on this line this is a an M3000. Okay, so we use that. 
It's got 100 kilometer an hour top speed. Why don't we use this? Capacity is 20. Yeah, let's try... Let's try using two of these back to back. Aura Mirage, actually. 57 people. Yeah, we could just use a single Mirage unit. 57 capacity, 75 meters long. Electric. Does cost $13,000, though. Uh, I mean, that's not a problem for a guy like me who's got a substantial uh, line of credit. But, you know. Let's do it. Right, and then this is on to... Cotsgrave Express, not an express train. Could not connect all the stations. I mean, you're able to get into Cotsgrave, right? Hold up. Why is this a problem? Could not connect all the stations. Fix for me. Yes. I mean, it was working just a second ago. It was working just a second ago. Yeah, platform two. What what changed? What changed? What changed in the intervening time? I mean, if I delete the train, will that make it work? I mean, it says that you're going to work. You're going to cot. Uh, you're going to cot grave. I've, I've written Cotsgrave. All right, well, you know what? That mistake is staying in. That's an authentic one. So how... How does this work? How have you not managed to figure this out? That signal's correct. There was a little... Oh, there might be a line electrification problem. There's a little line electrification problem. I guess maybe... Yeah, since I was using electrified... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so it was using electrified, uh, it was using an electrified train that first triggered that warning. So that, I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay, how many passengers have we got? 160 coming out of here. Cross map express is still 105 waiting. That's brilliant. Presumably, yeah, there's another, there's another train pretty much ready to go. That's cool. And then you've got, how many people have you got? You've got zero people waiting. That's okay. The good news is, is that now, I don't know if this makes any difference to anything whatsoever. Destination's 3,710. I mean, theoretically, right? We can go everywhere that we possibly could go. Okay, I'm going to pause and just take a little check on that. 3,100. Skelmersdale, 3,000. I mean, like, the number of destinations should be substantial. Because you should theoretically be able to go absolutely anywhere from anywhere else. Where's the issue here? We got a... We got an issue. We got an issue. We got an issue. We got an issue. And this is only gonna happen more and more and more. How on earth is this gonna be done? I reckon the way that we fix this is by putting a signal in there. Which I can't do. Uh... And then we got to put a signal in here. Well, first of all, we need to delete. Oh. We need to delete this signal. Delete that signal. Yep. And then we need to put in a signal over here. So we signify... If there's any waiting traffic, like, in the station, then we will address that first. Similarly, that comes out there. And that comes into there. So we'll leave... We'll leave that there. Cool. So again, we're, we're stopping... We're stopping trains coming into the station before they can cause a problem and end up like this. Right, so let's give this a little... A little test once the autosave. Toot toot. There we go. Brilliant. You're going to phase through the, the bullet train, aren't you? No, you're not going to phase through the bullet train. Well, that is surprising. This is such an incredible bit of tech. I, I love this. Are we making money on this route yet? No, but we might actually start making money, like, now.
Oh my goodness, I just had the greatest idea of all time. I think I can make a third platform here from the remnants of this cargo station. Right, so... This is gonna be janky as, as heck, but... Let me theoretically see if I can make a... Small station. Right, so will that recognize as like a different... As like a different station? So that's literally gonna have no impact if I can... Okay, so let me see. Cotsgrave Express, Manage Line... It still only says... I can only operate it as platform... As platform one. Hmm. I mean, what I can do, though, is... Right, well, we'll do this. We'll do this. This is, you know, this is cool. I like this. So this will allow... I, yeah, there we go. Thank you. This will allow for us to completely completely change the way that we do things here. If you're going to allow me to link up. Actually, that's fine. We don't need to link up. We can just create a brand new bespoke electrified track. And it'll link into here. There we go. Construction not possible. That's fine. Uh, I'll leave this track in here, even though it's not strictly necessary. There we go. And then we'll see if we can have a similar sort of connection over at that side. There we go. Absolutely phenomenal. Cool. So, then we'll get that there, that there. Brilliant. Okay, and now you may continue. Continue on your merry way. I think that just that little stretch of two platform, two platform station will be enough. I don't know though. Don't quote me on that. I guess we'll just wait and see. Cross map express is looking absolutely completely adequate. Yeah, that's great. It's a little bit truncated at the moment because I edited the station, so it doesn't really have an end like that. I think it's got a, I think it's got a, a bullet end actually. I think it should be one carriage longer. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a, it's got a, whoop, it's got a nose at the other end. That's cool. Just, just a, a point to note. Just a point to note. So you're going to come in here. That's totally fine. And then what I will do is I will make sure that there is a single one-way signal, a single non-one-way signal right over there. So again, we're prioritizing, we're prioritizing the, you know, the bullet train. Absolutely, right? Uh, we're prioritizing the, the, the traffic for the bullet train. Right, so how are we getting along over here? Any passengers waiting, by the way? No, absolutely no one. Not a single passenger. Not a single passenger. Not a single passenger waiting. How, how bad is that? It's very bad. I say it's very bad. It's not very bad. One-way signal. One-way signal. Brilliant. Cool. Right. So... Ah, one passenger waiting. No passengers waiting over here. Waiting for a free path. That's pretty irritating, but I guess we gotta we gotta prioritize the the oncoming traffic. Ugh. I... There we go. Yeah, ditch that, and then we should never have this issue again. Right now, what I really want to test is. Oh, oh! Look at that—a Boeing seven three seven and an LM, LM sixty eight. Very, very cool. Yeah. So you're waiting all the way down here. I, I'm not also super happy with that. Got to be real. Yeah. Okay. Fine. You know what? It's it's okay. That's eh, actually it's not okay trying to convince myself that it's okay. Put that over there. That, what, why did you not become a one-way signal? I wanted you to be a one-way signal. There we go. So that'll allow a little bit further uh, further advancement. Anyway, the, the thing that I really want to test, is this platform going to be long enough? Ugh, it might not be long enough. We'll just have to see. We'll have to see if it works. 
Mm. Is there an alternative way around the current setup? Not really. Alternatively, I could move all of these tracks sort of leftward to line them up with the, the general sort of general sort of route. Oh, yeah. Whoops, I hadn't. I think actually the length is totally fine. I haven't reconfigured it yet to use the other to use the other platform, but I, I you know just like roughly eyeballing the the measurements there, it looks fine. Eleven passengers. I mean that's not exactly gonna you know make a huge difference, but it's not bad. Why am I not able to utilize this second terminal over here? There we go. That's much better. Okay. Brilliant. 11 passengers. Still got the 11 passengers on board. That's totally fine. And we're still using a ridiculously long train in order to get oil, which I kind of love. Cool. Very, very cool indeed. I'm absolutely over the moon that that actually uh, ended up working. Right. So we've gone. We've uh, we've gone. We've gone and fixed the Cotsgrave to the Cotsgrave to Clearbury Mortimer route. I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, the Burnley to Clearbury Mortimer Express is continuing to make us money. We're we're still happy with that. That's all good. That's all fine and dandy. Yep, brilliant. The Fairford Express, not an express train. Oh, there's there's a difference. Uh, whatever, you know. Again, these are like the quirks of the the quirks of the human condition. Anyway, dis disregarding just for a second the quirks of the human conditions. I'm very I'm very sorry for for making a, a spell and error there, but that doesn't. I guess that's not gonna that's not gonna appease you. I I, I understand you people. What am I doing? I'm gonna go and look. Ooh, Hitchin. Uh, I'm gonna go and look at the Meddler with Wesham route and see how we're doing over here. Right, we are in three times speed. Let's slow it down a little bit. This train is full. Right. East Shifnal Express, we're losing a gargantuan amount of money. I don't understand that because it looks like every station is, well, not Hochin, but getting there. Yeah, is there a, no, there's no train in that station. How many trains do we actually have on this route? We've got three trains on this route. And the vast majority of the time I would imagine, like, that's full capacity. The vast majority of time these things are presumably... Presumably just going around trying to get to trying to get to Shifnal. Which is kind of the point. Like I kinda think maybe the East Shifnal Express needs to be needs to be sort of truncated just like the just like the North Shifnal Express was. Look, we've got 440 passengers that want to go to uh, to Shifnal. Yeah. I think maybe that's the way. Maybe that's the way. <sighs> But I really like, I really like how it is at the moment. It's really nice. It's just, it's just good. It works. I'm happy with it. We just have so many passengers waiting. Look at that, 497. That is ridiculous overcrowding. And it's happening in Horsham of all places. Yeah, so the station overcrowding, minus 20% to city growth. That's how bad we are. That's how bad we are, minus 20% to city growth. Can you believe that? Because I don't imagine that many people are going to want to get off at Horsham. I guess we'll see how many people unload on this on this train here. So it goes from 114 down to... Down to about 70, 72 basically. Hmm... Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. I mean, the alternative is, is that we just increase the number of trains actually on this route, which is no terrible thing, but we just don't need that many trains going up this way. I say that though. Maybe we do. Maybe we just straight up maybe we just straight up do that. Right. I mean, here's the here's the short term hold up. We need more we need more uh, signals on this route. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, autosave. Always the most inconvenient of times. Right, brilliant. Okay, so that should make a, a fairly measured difference, I would suspect. Right, here's what we're going to do in the short term, and here's what we're going to potentially do in the long term. Right, so short term, 
we're gonna just get another one of these vehicles. We're gonna just clone up, clone up uh, straight away. We're gonna get another one. It's gonna be totally fine. Long term, that one train that we've just bought, this one right over here, train 39, you are the chosen one. Uh, train 39 is, if this doesn't work or if we still need more transport between Horsham and Shifnal, then train 39 will be put onto a separate route to literally just travel between Shifnal and Horsham. And that will hopefully resolve all of our problems uh, that we may have. But as it stands, I think that that one extra train is just gonna is just gonna make things work just that little bit better. Man, I do like these trains actually. They are very very cool. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be good enough. I think that's gonna be good enough to fix all of our all of our situations. Uh, let's get Shifney. How's let's get Sh uh, let's get Shifney doing? Let's get Shifney's actually doing pretty good now that I uh, sort of took one of the trains off the line. Yeah, very happy with that, actually. That Very, very happy with that. Okay, cool. Right, so East Shifnal Express. Oh my goodness, there's a gargantuan number of people coming from uh, coming from the town of Gravesend. That's it. That's That's the name that I was looking for. And then they get off at Shif uh, get off at Shifnal Station, and then they get into the East Shifnal Express. Not entirely sure that I know why so many people want to travel all the way up the East Shifnal Express, but that's not my problem. I'm completely fine just supplying the transport. Don't need a reason behind it. Four thousand eight hundred sixty destinations. That is, that is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Three thousand nine hundred. 3,600, 4,086, 2,986. I mean, the number of destinations are uh, are huge. Huge. Huge, I tell you. So, yeah, this is really, really good. We're growing the towns. We're growing, I think, pretty much every town, right? We must be growing by, wow, 1,020%, uh, 120%, 140 percent. Okay, scroll over Gravesend. Only 120, only 120 percent in Gravesend, but I mean, look, that's still substantial enough to 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 mean that we're growing pretty darn fast. Not super super happy with the emission levels in Gravesend. However, I think next episode we're gonna tackle sort of on mass the uh, the noise pollution problems uh, that uh, that are ongoing. I uh, yeah, so I think we're gonna we're gonna try and address the the noise pollution properly in the uh, in the next episode, uh, right? But for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very very much for watching this here episode of Transport Fever Two. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. Thanks as ever to my fantastic Patreon supporters who help make videos like this possible. I'll see you next time. Bye.